Hi everybody, Real here and as you can see Tyler chilling out very nicely on his mat behind me. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is it's going to be a quick little video but I wanted to talk about capturing that perfect dog because everybody's dog is awesome some of the time. Some of them it might only be when they're sleeping but you know everybody's dog is perfect or doing the things that we want them to do some of the time. Unfortunately what we do is we spend a lot of time focusing on what the dog's doing wrong. Don't chew that, don't jump on the bed, get off the couch, stop pulling on lead. We do a lot of this. And what we don't do is actually look for opportunities for when our dogs are being completely awesome and then telling them that they're being awesome. We're either giving them a treat, telling them that they're a good dog, giving them a little cuddle, something like that. So that when they're doing the behaviors that we really, really like, they might continue to do them because they're paying off for them. They're getting rewarded for that. Okay, so this is a bit of a change in our thinking. Instead of always going around and thinking about what our dog does that annoys us, let's try and start thinking about the things they do that we like. Let's reward those. This is something that's going to be really great for you to do over Christmas when you've got um, heaps of other people probably in your house. Anytime your dog's doing something nice, like after everybody has arrived and he's finally chilled out and settled on his mat, Go and give them a treat then. Reward that nice calm behavior. Hopefully that will eventually happen, okay? The other thing you can do is start to, instead of sort of thinking about all the stuff you don't want your dog to do, is think about what you want them to do instead. So if they're going, you know, running around being crazy and obviously maybe that's something that you don't want so much, what would you actually like them to do instead? And maybe it's this, maybe it's chill out nice and quietly on their mat. Now. That's not necessarily a really, really easy thing to get straight away, but what you can start to do is two things. One, you capture when it does happen. You can start that right now. Get yourself a little pile of treats, maybe when you're sitting around watching TV and if your dog's chilling out somewhere nicely, surprise them with a treat. They love that. Sometimes they'll, you get a bit of a look on their face where they go, what was that for? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> But the more that you do this, and particularly the more that you do that on their mat or their bed, the more they're going to start to do that behavior more often. So then the second thing that you start to do in thinking about what you'd like them to do instead is start to train that behavior. That's a whole bunch of other videos for how to start to do that. But the other thing you can do as well is do a little bit of a cheat. So particularly if you're needing your dog to calm down a little bit and maybe stay in one place, you can start to give them something to chew on. A pig's ear um, or an antler, there are lots of really great things um, around that you can give your dog to chew on, um, which will keep them nice and busy and um, in one place for a little while. And there'll be some other uh, posts on Puppy Steps um, with some stuff about chews as well that you can have a look at. Um, so capturing can apply to a lot of things. Um, when you think about it, it's not just being calm and quiet on mat. It might be that you're out for a walk and they're, they're walking right next to you in the exactly right place. Not really sure how that might have happened, but if it did, reward it. If you come home and your dog's jumping on you and then suddenly they stop jumping on you, and assuming that's what you'd prefer them to do instead of jump on you, reward that when they stop doing it. Look for those opportunities for when your dogs are already being that perfect dog that you want and then reward them for it. They'll start doing those behaviors more often. We lose all of these opportunities to train our dogs and teach them because we forget to look for these things that they're doing right and we are just constantly looking at things they're doing wrong and complaining about it. <laughs> so have a go at this over the next few weeks. Capture your dog anytime, anytime they're doing anything that you like, um, with a treat, with a pat, with a cuddle, whatever it is that your dog would like. Try putting that in and you might start to see some little changes in behavior. They might start to do some of those things more often. We'd really love for you to um, let us know if that happens or if you have any questions, please jump in the comments um, and ask those of us as well. Um, don't forget to like um, our video if you like it and um, also subscribe to the YouTube channel as we've got some more videos coming up as we go along. And thanks so much for watching um, and bye from little sweet Tyler. Oh, such a sweet boy. All right, guys, you have a good time with your dogs and let us know how you go. Bye.